You can literally taste the history of this region. Super duper delicious. This is the place to experience the Japanese sweet tooth. Great culture with some of the top-notch cuisine. Let's tuck into the iconic dishes of Yogyakarta, where the traditional and the contemporary coexist and cuisine provides a portal to the past. Indonesia's cultural capital and the main gateway to Borobudur, the largest Buddhist temple in the world. Let's explore the dish responsible for Yogyakarta's nickname, the city of Gudeg. Every time my Bapa and I visited my Nene in Jogja, we always stop at the same old Gudeg place. It has this distinct smell of burning wood and dishes were cooked in a big pot and they were just so welcoming. They even remember my father eating there when he was a kid. Gudeg is a heavy-bodied jackfruit stew, almost meaty in texture with contrasting flavors. At first sweet, almost like a dessert, but also savory and tangy. Gudeg can be really tedious to create as it has so many components and jackfruit is just one of them. Traditionally, gudeg is cooked in a clay pot line with, wait for it, thick leaves. Not something you would ever imagine in a kitchen pantry. But this is what gives gudeg its reddish brown color. The young jackfruit is first cut into pieces and then boiled until tender. I would say fall off the bone tender, but there are no bones. Next, it is smothered in a beautifully rich paste of shallots and garlic. For a bright, zesty flavor, coriander seeds are added to the mix, followed by roasted candle nuts for a creamy texture. But wait, it's not done yet. Next in is daun salam or Indonesian bay leaves, tangy kaffir lime leaves, lemongrass, and torch ginger that has been roasted just right. And then of course comes the coconut sugar or palm sugar. The ingredients are submerged in water and boiled for around four hours over a wood-fired stove, which gives the dish a beautiful smokiness. Once the gravy reduces, then hard-boiled eggs and luscious coconut milk are added, and the dish is slow-cooked for another two hours. That is six plus hours if you're counting at home. But I think the other major thing that you need a lot of to make gudeg is patience. Gudeg is commonly served with several other goodies. And all together, this is gudeg complete. A gudeg complete could have curry free range chicken cooked in coconut milk and spices. Side dishes like steamed or boiled papaya or cassava leaves can be added. And of course, are a thick, savory coconut sauce blended with a paste of shallots, garlic, and coriander seeds that is sauteed with bay leaves and citrusy cafe lime leaves is splashed on top of your steamed rice. Yummy! This dish takes years to master, which is why the best establishments are run by elderly cells. Gudeg is said to nourish the body for one simple reason. If you look around, gudeg sellers are well into their twilight years. Ah, that's the secret to that spring in grandpa's step. Revealed. Next up is a savory one-stop meal that was once reserved for royalty. Nasi liwet is cooked over a wood-fired stove in coconut milk, infused with fragrant herbs like pandan, bay leaves and lemongrass, and just lightly salted. This aromatic rice is put on a rotten plate with banana leaves for added aroma and a splash of are. The savory reduction of spiced coconut milk. The rice can be served simply with just a steamed omelette on the side or with multiple side dishes like tahu bacem, opor ayam, and tempe bacem, pindang egg, or sayur labu siam. Sayur labu siam is a hearty chayote stew to complement the richness of the coconut rice. I can't get enough. Give me more! What I also love about this dish is the special way the banana leaf is folded into a plate known as pincho. This is the best leak-proof plate ever, and it comes with a spoon that's also made of banana leaves called suru. Folding these items from the banana leaf is an art in itself. Central Java is a feast for your eyes and your taste buds. Join us for more wonderful culinary adventures with love from Indonesia's best ever eats.